Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Forex, and in this video, we'll be covering the Forex trading platform MetaTrader 5. And specifically, we'll be covering how to apply technical indicators and how to create templates on your charts. Now, before we start with the process, I'd like to just mention that if you're in the market for a new Forex trading platform, or you're new to Forex trading and you'd like to try out a free platform, MetaTrader 5 is absolutely free to try out. So if you would like to try out MetaTrader 5, feel free to follow the link that I provided at the very beginning of this video, or take a look at the description box below and you'll find a clickable link to the demo page for MetaTrader 5. So to apply a technical indicator and then create it as a template, we'll first need to open up a chart. So you can either do so by left clicking the open chart button in the top left hand corner of the window, or we can go down to our market watch list pick the specific contract we'd like to open, right click, and then click on the open new chart window. So now as you can see, we have our chart open. And from here, we have a couple options. We can use one of the preset indicators built into MT5, or we can upload a custom indicator, either created by a third party service or found on the MQL5 coding database. Now, either way, depending on which type of indicator you use, either a pre-built indicator on MT5 already or a custom indicator either created by a third party service or found on the MQL5 coding database, the process to insert an indicator is fairly the same. There are some slight differences, but either way, actually applying it to a chart is the same exact process. So for that, let's start with a pre-built indicator on this platform and I'll get you a little bit familiar with how to insert one. So to insert an individual indicator, we'll need to head up to the top left of our platform here and click on the insert tab. Now from here, you can insert in any of the various objects that you'll see here. Since this video is focused on indicators, we'll be strictly focusing on that. But it is worth noting that inserting any of the indicators, objects, experts, or scripts are fairly the same process on MT5. So for now, let's head down to indicators. And then from here, we can pick the type of indicator we'd like. This isn't going to get into the technical analysis side of things. This is merely just for instructional purposes. So for that reason, I'll be just applying an adaptive moving average to my chart. Again, there's really no rhyme or reason why I'm doing this. I just want to show you the process of actually applying this. So once we click on the indicator of our choice, we'll actually get the settings that pop up for that specific indicator. As you can see here, we can adjust periods, how our adaptive moving average shifts, how fast or slow it's going to adjust. We can apply it to the close of the market, the open, the higher, the low. As you can see, there's a lot of different options here. We can change colors. We can add different levels of our adaptive moving average, and we can change the way it's visualized. For this video, I'll be keeping everything default. So if I press OK, you'll now see that a, the moving average we have just selected has automatically been applied to our chart. Going full screen, you'll get a better view of this. Now you can essentially add as many indicators as you'd like to a chart. So for example, if we wanna do this again with a different indicator, this time we'll go down to oscillators and let's say we'll use the MACD. We can now, again, if we need to, we adjust our settings. And once we press OK, we'll now get the MACD in a separate portion of our chart here. We can adjust this up or down. And we still have our moving average up top. Now, indicators are great on this platform because one, there's so many free built-in ones. And two, they are highly customizable. Three, we can actually save this as an overall template that way we can reapply this to our platform anytime in the future. So for example, if you do trade different contracts, but you only have one chart open at a time, we can apply this same exact indicator template onto an existing chart with a different contract on it. All right, so when you're ready to save your template or your overall indicators that you have applied onto your chart, simply right click on the chart and head down to templates. Now we can save a template, we can load a template, or we can remove any templates from our template list. So in this case, since we'll be using this template for later, 
we'll simply click on template and then you can name it whatever you like being that this is a tutorial demo i'm just going to name our template demo so now if i need to i can actually close out my chart here or i can open up a new one so let's open up a new chart And now that we have our new chart applied, as you can see, this is a fresh instance and there are no indicators on here. But as I said before, the purpose of the template is to keep the indicators you like saved onto an overall template. That way you can apply it for later. So as you can see now, if we right click on our chart and go back to templates, we now have our demo template that we just saved. And if we left click, we now have the same exact indicator template as we did on our first contract. So as you can see, it's very intuitive and pretty self-explanatory. For those of you that would like to remove any indicators that you have applied to your chart, simply right click, head down to indicator list. And then as you can see, we get a breakdown of the indicators we have applied to our chart. If you'd like to remove one, simply highlight it and then click delete on the right hand side here. And as you can see, our indicator is now removed. Same thing for adaptive moving average. If for whatever reason we want no indicators on this chart, you can simply click delete. And now we're back to a fresh instance of our chart. All right, so as I mentioned before, that was the entire process of actually applying an indicator to a chart and how to save a template. Now, for those of you that are looking to apply a custom indicator or a custom template, the process to apply it to a chart is the exact same. The only differentiation is actually importing it into the platform itself. So for that reason, I'll show you a brief rundown of how to do it. And it is possible that every indicator that you may find could differentiate between custom indicators and the actual process of applying them to the platform. So please keep in mind that although the format that I show you on how to apply it to the platform works for my indicator, it may be a di bit different for yours but a pretty general consensus on how to import custom indicators into this platform is to head over to file, open data folder, and then in my instance, I'll be clicking on MQL5, and then we'll go into indicators. And as you can see here, I've already dragged in my files from my custom indicator. This is a custom indicator here at Optimus Forex that we've created. It is essentially displays the overbought and oversold channels of whatever contract you had open. That way you can easily see the highs and lows indicated by various dots and channels of the indicator. So as you can see here, I can now open up my zip folder in which my indicator files are open. I simply wanna click on the corresponding indicators folder, which this is the downloadable zip folder here on my right. I simply wanna drag and then I'll drop it over to my MT5, MQL5 indicators folder. From there, we'll back out now. And this time we'll need to head over to templates. This can be found under profiles. Excuse me, this is MQL5. And then we'll need to go to profiles here. And then we'll find our templates. And again, as you may have seen before, I already had a template named Trend Momentum Shift. But this is essentially just a preset template that we have created for our users who are interested in this indicator. Instead of going in and having to apply the indicators individually, all you'll need to do is apply the preset trend momentum shift template. It's also worth mentioning that before you load your platform back up, once you have inserted these files in, you'll simply need to go to tools, options, expert advisors, and then allow DLL imports. Now this may not be the case for every single custom indicator that you download, but for ours, you need to have the allow DLL imports on for it to work. So once I press OK, we'll simply need to go now down to templates after restarting my platform, that is. Since I have already applied it before this video, I won't need to do that. But just please keep in mind that anytime you do apply or insert any files into your platform, you should restart it. And then from there, I simply go down to my templates and then I'll click on the trend momentum shift indicator that I've added. And as you can see, our indicator is now up and running. In our instance, we do have a license key for our indicator, but that will notify you as soon as you attempt to apply the indicator. If you do have an indicator that does run on a license key, 
you can find this under the indicator list. We'll click on each individual indicator and then we'll hit, in, hit into properties. And as you can see here under our inputs tab, we have a license key that we have entered to validate our indicator. But that pretty much is it for this video, guys. If you do have any further questions, feel free to reach out to us and we gladly like to help you out. Thank you for watching.